Here you go, three different wheels. Hello YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Today, we're gonna be talking about my addiction and my addiction is wheels. So, today, we're gonna be talking about aggressive skating wheels. There's more and more people skating with bigger wheels on their aggressive skates, but I'll be talking about the smaller kind, I would say something in between 55 and 60 millimeters. There are three different shapes at the moment that I know. I just started skating with the different shape that Undercover came with, which are the new Dustin Werbescu wheels. And they have a different shape. Why? Well, let me just open this package. This wheel, it's the Eugen Enin 60 millimeters. 88A from Undercover. I think it's one of the best sellers right now. And this wheel has a round profile. Over the last four or five years, the wheel with this shape and this size basically made with the same mold, it's been selling good. Why? Well, it's a really fast wheel and because it's not flat on top, will allow you to turn easy. For me, it's probably the best wheel on the market, maybe you have a different opinion, I don't know. This type of profile is what people use to skate the most. And smaller wheels usually have these kind of profile, this shape on top, which is a little bit more square on top. The advantages of having a wheel with this shape is it's usually more stable. The disadvantages are it makes it harder to turn. Yes, it's more stable when you land gaps and stuff like that. Riding the mega ramp, this would be a good wheel, at least with this type of shape. So when you land, like, poof, stable. But at the same time, if you're gonna be skating anti-rocker with one wheel like this in the front and another wheel like this in the back, it's gonna make it a lot harder for you to turn. Again, if you're gonna be doing gaps, probably would be good but then anti-rocker landing gaps is also not the best. There's pros and cons and then you need to decide what you want. This will. Let me open it. These ones. These are the ones that I was telling you at first that I started skating right now. And these are the Dustin Werbeskis. These are 59 millimeters. They say they have a pointy profile. A pointy profile means that they're not round. Like the name says, it's pointy. From what I know, the mold where these wheels were made, it's the same mold as the OK goalkeeper wheels, which means that they are small, but at the same time, they still allow you to roll. Why do I like this for aggressive skating? Especially if I'm gonna be skating on a flat setup like I do have on my AMs here. These wheels, they roll fast, there's less surface touching, and then super easy Super maneuverable, if you can say that. Super easy to turn. I don't do gaps. I don't do that much gaps, so probably that's also why I like this wheel that much. But at the same time, when I wanna grind on these, I don't feel that the edges here making me get stuck. So basically, with these wheels riding flat, I feel that I get less wheel bite, if that makes sense to you. And at the same time, when I wanna slide, there's a flatter surface touching, basically. If you're gonna slide with these, you're gonna be sliding on a corner makes it a lot harder. Like shuffles and all that stuff, on these wheels it's harder. Then on these ones, it's round. So it's a little bit easier than on the ones that I just show you. But on these ones for me works better. Why there's a flatter surface touching and somehow gives me more stability while sliding. But then again, these wheels are still new and you know when the wheels are new, they still have that shiny, gum on top i don't know if that's how you call it but they still have that shiny gum on top and that shiny gum makes it a little bit stickier so i still need to go through these wheels but i like them i think i just showed you three different small wheels not anti-rockers none of these is an anti-rocker wheel and i just wanted to show you the different profiles there is right now squarish pointy round okay other than this you can play with different things on wheels. You can play with the size, the bigger the wheel is, the faster and the smoother you're gonna ride. But then other than that, you also have to look at the durometer, the hardness of the wheel. So if it's a harder wheel, usually it will roll faster, but then if you go 
to a rougher surface, you'll feel the floor a lot more. You'll feel the ground like it's not as comfortable. If you're gonna be grinding, a harder wheel somehow makes it easier to start grinding. Even if some people say that a softer wheel once you start sliding, make it more stable. Cause once it starts sliding, usually slides, a harder wheels is more unstable, but easier to start sliding. Does this make sense to you? I don't know if it does make sense to you, but when it comes to sliding on free skates, that's what everyone says. So here you go, three different wheels, aggressive skating wheels. There are different sizes, different hardnesses, different profiles. This is what you need to look for when you're looking for aggressive wheel for your aggressive skates. If you're gonna be riding flat, probably you don't wanna ride with the biggest wheels, otherwise you're gonna get wheel bite. Then you also know that the profile might influence the way you're gonna get wheel bites or not. Also the profile will influence the way your skates are more nervous or more stable. I hope you enjoyed this little wheel talk. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment, let me know what you want me to talk next. Cheers guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Vou viver até quando